Okay, welcome to the Lacey Range today. And today we have a special uh, rifle for you. Uh, and if, as you can see, it's one short enough that we can get the whole thing into the, the view here. So this is what is commonly referred to as the Morican uh, FN Carbine uh, 1950 10-30-06. Now, this particular example here, the reason I'm doing this today is a buddy of mine taylor from down in mississippi he's up uh up uh doing some stuff and uh he wanted me to look at this and uh of course i'm for shooting anything excuse me there but uh it is a uh, nice example of one um and it's everything i can read up on it i, I done a little research on it last night and this morning uh it's probably not really a marique uh, now, do they know who really used them? We do know that Century imported them, um, and they came from the Marican port, I guess, is what, what it's coming from. But uh, supposedly the Marican's, Marican's never used uh, 30 out 6 So there really wasn't a need for them to have that. And you will find these in 308 and uh, 1950 models. Now, this common pattern uh, throughout the Mauser history uh, has been out there and uh, the eight millimeter uh, seven millimeter uh, several mainly police units use these but uh, I'm sure there was some others that used it too but uh, I really and just to let y'all know I shot two rounds before before I started filming on this I just wanted to see make sure it was close because Taylor had told me it shot really high with him but with me, it's shooting pretty good, and I just wanted to make sure it was at least something we could work with for the video. Uh, I'm shooting uh, the Korean uh, M2 30 uh, 6 today. This is uh, uh, PS stamped 1975. Pretty good ammo. Uh, Maybe corrosive, so I will clean it afterwards, but it uh, does okay. So let's. Uh, Got the sight set on one. This is a matching numbers, uh, serial number 310. Uh, we'll, we'll get a better look at it as we go along, but uh, let, let's see what she'll do. Tell you what, let me put my ears on. Butter, butter smooth for sure. All right, let's see what we get here. I'm gonna aim dead on. Right at the bottom of the inverted terrain. How's that? Let's try another one here. A nice little square there. Oh yeah, this is, this is nice. This is nice, nice, nice. 18 inch barrel. older and 
the shorter sight radius on guns really tend to work against me. The, uh, like, the 29-inch Mausers uh, or the, the uh, what, 31-inch Mosin Nagants, the uh, original M91s, man, I, I can still see the front sight on them just as clear as I ever could. 24-inch uh, models uh, or the 25-inch uh, infields and stuff like that still see fairly good. Not bad at all. When they start getting down to this, that old front sight starts getting fuzzy. Fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy wuzzy. Uh, still not to the point where I think I do my glasses or anything to deal with it, but uh, it uh, definitely, I notice now when I shoot a pistol, I've got to get the thing on out there. There ain't none of this coming up close doing any of that stuff. That sight will just disappear. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, I think Taylor should be happy with it. I, I got it set on one. And it's dead on. So let, let's do this. Let, let me stop the recording and uh, let me switch it over to the 200 and we'll see how it does at 200. Okay, <clears throat> here we are getting ready to go 200. Hey, the wind's blowing. We got a storm fixing to roll in. And uh, I hate it. I know y'all are probably hearing all the wind and everything else. It's already been drizzling just a little bit, raining this morning. But uh, I'm, I'm heading out uh, to go shoot at Aniston at the CMP matches. So it's either do it now or it won't get done. So, so with that, got to open up a new box there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to say that site, I forgot to tell you, that site starts at 2, goes to 1,400 meters. So I would say where it's impacting that right there at 100, I should be good at 200. Uh, probably, uh, well, three of them are right down the center pretty much, and then two to the left. So let's see what she does. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Okay, I'm gonna aim dead on to that inverted triangle. I can barely see it. Nothing. Let's see what we get here. I'm going to aim just a little bit lower this time. There we go. Okay, it looks like an impact. Uh, well, I'd say it's impacting uh, pretty much where I'm aiming at on uh, the uh, vertical plane, but uh, on elevation. But it's going right. So let's, I'm going to go back up to the inverted triangle. There we go. Yep, now I favored, I favored to the left and that's where it hit. Shoot one more, that gives us five on target. Woo! Smooth, smooth, smooth. Uh, 
that's what I'm that's what I'm talking about. Uh, man, what a pleasure to shoot. I, I really thought the recoil would be uh, a whole lot rougher, but uh, it's really not bad at all. I'm sure this M2 ball is running 27.50 probably, and not out of this short of a barrel, but out of a 24-inch barrel. Uh, very impressed with it. Very impressed. Uh, tell you what, we'll get the camera and do a close-up view of it before this rain sets in on us for good. And I'll do that. But, so hold tight. Let me re reorient everything, and we'll get right on Okay, here we are, getting a good look at the, uh, what commonly, like I say, it's referred to as a Marican, and it's probably not, but a uh, little FMA carping. As you can see right here, the light's not that good up underneath the uh, building here, but uh, you see it's got the corrugated uh, butt, st uh, butt plate, recoil lug and the pistol grip. Bolt. I've got a little bit of grease. We had it, on the upstroke after you fired it, it wasn't uh, feeling like it should yesterday, so put a little bit of lithium grease on it. Matching bolt coming down. I hope you can see that FN. See that marking coming on down? Of course, it's got sling loops for uh, side carry or underneath them, like he has it slung right now. Um, all the pictures, uh, I mean, it, that sling's built just like the English World War One type slings. So I don't know, I don't know if it's all original, but that's what they came in with. The other pictures that I could see. Um, Per standard Mauser practice. Got the locking screws in there. He's missing the one on the rear here. Coming up to here. You can see the import mark. A little bit right there. He is missing his cleaning rod. Fairly good. Uh, muzzle right there about it all uh, if you'll notice on the side it's not uh, grooved for a, uh, any kind of cover or guard so a little, few more little markings right there suppose it has a particular bayonet that goes with it as we go up here and see the uh, top of the site 200 up to 1400 looking down the breach Okay, here we are. We're going to close the bolt. Standard Mauser safety. Looking down the sights right there. That's on safe and still work the bolt. Down like that, locks everything. Okay, this is just a short little video, this is show the guy. Uh, get a little view here. Once again, thanks for coming to the Lacey Range and just wanted to show you this little 1950 carbine.